Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls Online. So, if you missed it on Twitch, I did live stream all of Stone Falls. And apart from my computer deciding to DC and do a system update, it, went, it was going surprisingly well for the most part, and apart from a crash and stuff, but, or at least I think it was a crash, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a couple things. One is we're going to do the first, um, well, what we're gonna, Now, uh... Yeah, what we're gonna do is do the first part of the, um... Of the, uh... The Sean quest line. Which is, um... The Quarantine Cirque, uh... Basically, Bad Medicine Quest. And then, finally, I will be able to do, uh, to go back to my Templar character. And then do Narciss and all these quests. Basically, to catch up to where I was, I'm basically going to be recording all of Deshaun and all of Shadowfin and all of, uh, Win uh, uh, uh East March and everything like that. So... Yeah, so, um, but I just, because I've already done Bad Medicine questline on another character, um, and, and I pretty much did it on my Templar character, uh, and he's already done the Mages, uh, or he's already started the Mages Guild and the, um, and the uh, 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 fighters guild. I figured, you know what? Why don't I do this I quest, this. and then and then I can start mission. my official run with my Templar character because he's more set in stone, pretty much. I just arrived from Deshan. Dethesim sent me. Perhaps you've heard of him? He's nope. the consul for the town of Sergamora, the Cirque. I'm here to spread the word and warn people about the Lodos Plague. So, what's the Lodos Plague? It is a terrible sickness that is ravaging the Deshan countryside. Look, I need to send word to my cousin Dandry. You can find her at the Cirque. Can you take this letter to my cousin? I'd appreciate it. I can deliver your letter. Thanks for your help. Make sure you tell my cousin that I'm alright. If you head south, you won't be able to miss the Cirque. Tell her I'll return home as soon as I'm able. Can you tell me anything else about this plague? It's pretty bad. And people all over the region are getting sick. And they say that the plague turns the afflicted into monsters. The town consul, Dethesum, sent me to get help and warn other settlements about the plague. And have you found anyone to help yet? Well, truth be told, you're the first person, other than the bandits I've run into. And the afflicted heading for the Cirque. There's a lot of them. Word of the curative has spread faster than the plague itself, as far as I can tell. There's a cure. That's what the Mulborn claim. They showed up at the Cirque and set up a quarantine. They're offering their curative to anyone who wants it. But Dethesum isn't convinced they're telling us the whole truth. Tell me more about the Mulborn. Dethesum doesn't trust them. Neither does his sister, Arona, as far as I can tell. They do appear to be too good to be true. But they claim to be able to cure anyone afflicted with the plague. That's why they set up the quarantine at the Cirque. I have never heard of the Malborn. Neither had I. Not until they showed up on our doorstep. They seem to be some kind of altruistic society dedicated to helping the afflicted of Morrowind. Now that I think about it, they did have an awful lot of weapons for a group of healers. How did you get injured, if I may ask? Bandits. They robbed me, roughed me up. But I'll live. And a few bruises won't stop me. 
I have a plague to warn people about. I wonder, though. One of the bandits had a Molborn recruiting letter. I saw it sticking out of his pack as he beat me. Okay. So yeah, so as you can see from that, I'm not even going to try and you know what, why not? So as you can tell, basically, the Mulborn are, seem to be a bunch of bad actors. For the cure. Come one, come all. Come to the quarantine in the town of Circamora, the Cirque, and receive a curative that will protect you from Lodo's plague. Noble or commoner, rich or poor, the curative is provided at no cost to you. Don't risk yourself or your loved one loved ones. The Malborn are ready to help you. So whether you are afflicted with the plague or are healthy and show no signs of the disease, the Malborn curative will make sure you are protected from this dreaded plague. The great houses can't stop this plague. The tribunal answer has no answers, but the Malborn have a solution. On this, you have my word. Not Nostrum Riva. Okay. And I just spit all over my mic. That is disgusting, my guy. doing out here in the middle of nowhere no idea there's another letter if you missed the first one So many afflicted would flock to the Cirque. All these people, they're so sick. Your cousin asked me to give you this letter. A letter? From my cousin? That's wonderful news. I'm glad to hear he made it to Stonefall safely. Thanks for bringing this to me, friend. You. There you are. It's about time you got here. Where have you been? I've been waiting for you to arrive for days now. Hold on. Are you all they sent? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Maybe you should start at the beginning. Didn't the tribunal send you? Oh. <laughs> well, no matter. I'm just glad you're here. This is Circa Mora, the Cirque. The Lotus Plague reached us right before the Malborn arrived. They claim they're here to help, but I don't trust them. What can I do to help? In all the confusion, uh, I'm embarrassed to admit that I lost track of my brother, Dethesum. He's the town consul. Yesterday, he went to check on the townsfolk afflicted by the plague, but he's disappeared. Can you help me find my brother? I'll help you find your brother. Someone in town must know what happened to Dethesum. He loves to visit and chat with all of our neighbors. Come on. The sooner we find my brother, the sooner I can start thinking about dealing with the plague. 
Can I ask you a few questions, though? Oh, by Bavec. Where are my manners, of course? That's the least I can do since you agreed to help me find my brother. What would you like to know? You called your brother to town consul. What does that mean? As the ranking member of House Redoran in this town, he's more or less the one in charge. He's good at it, too. The townsfolk look to him for leadership and advice. And truth be told, so do I. So who are the Malborn? The Malborn? They're a fairly new sect, as far as I can tell. Part mercenary group, part compassionate charity. They've been helping those afflicted by the plague. They showed up here and set up a quarantine, and now they claim they have a cure. Where did the Malborn come from, though? They have members from across Morrowind, and they're always looking for new recruits. I heard one of them speak in Cragenmore. A lot of nonsense, if you ask me. Nostrum Breva is in charge of the quarantine, and she's the one handing out the curative. Tell me about the plague. You haven't heard about the Lotus Plague? People get sick, turn violent. Some claim they become monsters, but I haven't seen it. At least not yet. The Molborn have a cure. They promise to fix this. That's why we let them set up their quarantine. And you let them do this? So, not a wise move on your part. <sighs> By the three, this place smells terrible. Oh, look at me. I'm a terrible mess. You really must excuse my dreadful appearance. I haven't been feeling very well lately. By the way, you haven't seen Nostrum Breva, have you? She promised to bring me more of the Malburn curative. I'm afraid not. We're actually looking for Dethesum, though. Have you seen him? Dethesum? The town consul? Such a nice young man. Why, I do recall that he came to see me yesterday. He said he had other townsfolk to check on, but that he would bring me a curative as soon as he could. What do you know about this Malborn curative? The curative? Remarkable stuff. Tastes awful, but wipes the plague right out of your system. One of those delightful Malborn gave me one a few days ago. Nostrum Breva, she called herself. But I think I need another dosage. Can I ask you something else? I may be ill and bedraggled, but I still have my manners. What would you like to know? When did the plague first appear in the Cirque? Oh, I couldn't say for sure. Perhaps the alchemist Nalene would know. I can tell you that I started feeling ill a few days ago after I drank the Malborn curative. She said that would happen. You have to get ill to get better, the Malborn said. Tell me about the Malborn. Such a polite young woman, that Nostrum Breva. Mm -hmm. Claimed they were here to provide the help the tribunal refused to give. They have a curative for the plague, you know. Vile stuff. But the best medicine always tastes terrible, my mother always said. Yeah, I don't think... What is... Would you stand by while your village or town burned? Then why do you do nothing while Morrowind suffers? The tribunal may be too busy to do the right thing, but we're not. The Malborn, a society of like-minded Dark Elves who wanted to help the poor and protect the weak, was formed to take care of the problems that, that are too mundane, too inconsequential, or too difficult to attract the attention of the tribunal and its agents. We have a plan for the Lodos Plague ravaging our population. We have a plan for, uh, for the Plague House terrorizing our towns. We have a plan for, and, and, that, and that's more than the Great Houses or Tribunal can say. But we can't accomplish our plans without your help. Join the Malborn and become a part of the solution. Our volunteers are ready are are bleh, are already making a difference in such diverse locations as the Cirque, the Obsidian Gorge, and the Narcissus Wilderness. We'd be we'd be ha happy to allow you to help us in our important work. Who are the Malborn? We are your friends and neighbors, your cousins, your sons and daughters. We're we're the gat gathering storm and the strong arm of judgment. We are the cleansing wind 
that will soon blow across the entirety of Morrowind. We are healers and wizards, warriors and caregivers. We are the Malborn and we are you. Can we can make come make a difference? Come join the Malborn. Our recruitment in what does that word say? Like oh fuck me the words recruitment liations whatever that word is and anxious to meet you I don't know what that word is never the 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 you know what my adhd brain the i and the a and the i again just like i a i i i've never heard of that word i've never seen that word uncle are you all right You look so pale. No wonder my brother wouldn't let me come by to visit. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll be back on my feet in no time. But what about you? Your brother said that neither of you had taken the curative yet. Uncle, I'm not sure about these Malborn, and their curative sounds too good to be true, but don't worry about me. Just take care of yourself. I see Arona has conscripted a new soldier into her private army. I'm trying to help her find... Oh, I'm trying to help find her brother, Dethesum. Is Dethesum missing? He was by yesterday for a visit. I know he had other stops to make. <coughs> he did seem concerned about the Moorborn, though. Sealing themselves in their quarantine, no longer providing the curative. It made him furious. Is there anything we can do for you? My niece's visit was more than enough. <laughs> I feel better already. You don't sound better. Besides, I've, I've overcome worse ailments than a queasy stomach and a bad cough. <laughs> I'll be fine. Can I ask you a few, a few more questions? <laughs> well, a good conversation is like a hot bowl of guar liver soup. Right. It soothes the aches that ail you. <laughs> What did you want to ask? When did the Malborn arrive in town? Well, I, I think it was 12 mornings ago. The day the wild Nyx got into the brooding elf's trash receptacles. <laughs> <clears throat> Nostrum Breva had the quarantine up in a matter of days. Then she started distributing the curative. And what can you tell me about the plague? They call it the Lodos Plague. <laughs> Maybe Vivek knows where it came from, but I certainly don't. I can tell you that it's going to have to try harder if it really wants to kill me. Or turn me into some kind of monster, if you can believe the stories. Are you really Irona's uncle? I am a blood kin of House Redorum, if that's what you're asking. More a third cousin twice removed, if you want to be specific. But I've been close to Erona and her family since she and Dethesum were children. Cool. No, that's not what I wanted to do. To talk to you. What was my brother thinking? Keeping Uncle's condition from me? When we find Dethesum, he's going to get a piece of my mind. Right after I give him a good swift kick. Maybe your brother was trying to protect you? Protect me? What a ridiculous notion. Who saved him from the rampaging Nixes? Who kept those drunk Argonians from beating him silly? And who scared off Lady Hilalu when she got so very tenacious? That would be me. Oh, by Bavek. Where are my manners, of course? Right. Grell! Grell, are you in here? I don't think he is. Upstairs, I forgot. By the tribunal! Grell! Poor Grell. What in Oblivion's name happened to him? The sicker people get, the more incoherent they become, and now it looks like the rumors are true. The Lotus Plague does turn people into monsters. I don't think we're ever going to find my brother. 
Maybe we should visit, pay a visit to the Malborn quarantine. The quarantine? I guess it makes sense that Dethesum would want to go see what the Malborn are doing in there. And I've yet to see any evidence that the curative works. All right. If you want to go to the quarantine, I'll go with you. Tell me, tell me what you know about the quarantine. The Malborn set up the quarantine around the old graveyard. In the beginning, they were letting people inside and freely distributing the curative. But they closed the front gate a few days ago and haven't responded to any of our requests. Any ideas how we get in there, then? Dethesum provided them with the old graveyard key when they first arrived, and I've seen Malborn coming and going through the back gate. If we go to the back gate, I'm sure we can get one of the Malborn to let us inside. Okay. Oh, but I don't think they're gonna let us inside. Because I've done this many times on my old playthrough, which, by the way, you, you should really check out, guys. If you want to know what I've done so far in this storyline, I have an entire playlist of my old Elder Scrolls Online Let's Play um, that I did. And it's very much a, a good, a good, although... <laughs> Don't get confused by the name Look, of my channel. It's just at the like time. I told you. The Malborn are using the back gate. Hey! What are you idiots doing? Do we look like playing up to you? Did you see that? They attacked us. And for no good reason. Let's find the key and see what the Malborn are hiding in there. Plague husks. Here? Where did they all come from? Are these really all the people that came here looking for help? Those afflicted with the plague turned into husk, right? Do you recognize anyone? They barely look like dark elves anymore. And it's hard to tell one plague husk from another. What could the Malborn be doing out here? And for what purpose? And what do you suppose was in all those crates? What crates? When the Malborn arrived, they brought dozens of crates and boxes with them. I thought they were supplies for making their curative. But now that we're in here, I don't know what to believe. Well, let's find out. Ah, uh, screw off, fucking play boss. over there. That's one of the Malborn. One of the husks must have gotten him. You were lucky last time. How many times do I have to remind you if you are going to work with the plague husk, you need to wear the husk scent. I know, I know it smells terrible, but that's the point. It makes you it makes you smell just like the plague husk. That's the only way way to safely move along among the vile creatures. Remember what happened to Kenny. He refused to apply the husk scent to, complained that it got in her hair and wouldn't come out no matter how many times she washed it. What kind of shampoo and conditioner are you using? Um, and what did her vanity get her? A plague husk ate her face. Ouch. She, do you want that to happen to you? I certainly don't. Now get, get your in chow together and remember to apply the husk scent i don't want to have to tell you again goodness plague husks here where did they all come from are these really all the people that came here looking for help i found a note i it mentioned something about plague husk scent plague husk scent what in the name of the three would anyone want with the plague husk scent the note implied that it protected the Malborn from the Plague Husks. 
I guess if you need to get close to them, that makes a certain amount of sense. Maybe we should try to find some of that. If it means that we don't have to kill any more husks, that could be a good thing. They were people once. Maybe they can be again. You don't recognize any of the husks? They barely look like dark elves right. and... You have to open those gates eventually, you swit. What are they up to in there? And why won't they let me get a look at their curative? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you standing there through the haze of my indignation. Can I help you? No, wait. You can help me. Can I help you? I'm the town alchemist, and I want to get a sample of the Morborn curative. They refused to give me any. Proprietary formula, they said. Well, I want to figure out what's in this miracle elixir. I don't trust anything labeled proprietary. You want me to get you want me to get you the curative. Do you always skip ahead in the story? Yes. No one has an iota of patience anymore. But yes, I need a few bottles of the curative. I'm sure you'll be able to find some inside the quarantine. Then we'll see what's in this proprietary formula. Very very well, I'll try to get a few bottles of the curative. Just watch your step in there. I don't trust these Morborn or their good intentions. Can I ask you a few questions? As long as you promise to collect the curatives as soon as we're done, ask away. What do you know about the Malborn? Not much. They say they're here to help, but they certainly don't act like any charitable caregivers I ever met. I don't trust them. Which is why I want to find out what's in the curative they're pushing on the populace. And tell me about the Malborn curative. There's not much to tell. They claim the elixir is a cure for the Lodos Plague, but I haven't seen anyone recover from the illness yet. But I could tell you more once you get me a few samples of the curative to examine. Okay. By the three, this place chills me to the bones. Let's see if we can find my brother and then get out of here. Useless, absolutely useless. The curative isn't going to meet our mistress' demanding standards of it simply kills the person who ingests it. If we are trying to create a new poison, then we'd be widely successful, but that isn't the task at hand. Reduce the amount of dried corpse blood and try again, and watch the temperature in those cauldrons. One of them was dangerously close to boiling over. And I, for one, have no desire to be drenched in a spray of boiling curative. Okay. You can't share these things. The batch of the curative was so close to perfect. Unfortunately, it was it was a tad too effective. The afflicted turned into violent husks more quickly than we, we had hoped for at this point in the process. Perhaps this particular mixture will be useful later. When we need a quick influx of undead soldiers, but for now, this batch won't suffice. An interesting side effect of this version of the curative con concerns the level of aggressiveness demonstrated by the newly created husks. They immediately... They turn immediately violent and consider everything that mo and can and consider everything that moves to be an enemy or food. These these husks are demonstrated a total a total disregard for the husk scent we apply when working in close proximity to them. They attacked our workers as soon as they saw them, and indicating that the scent no longer masks us from the scent created with the ver with this version of the curative. Let's increase the cooking time by one hour and decrease the amount of wolf bot bite by 25%. Okay. Oh, 
Hold on. I don't want to get to him yet. The low dose plague. you go all oh, right ah finally perfection the latest batch of the curative starts to the, the affliction progress the plague at a reasonable rate of speed and then turns the afflicted into husks 70% of the time. Now we have a superior version of the, play, of the plague and an effective way to dispense it. Of course, handing out curatives may be a slow process, especially when larger towns and cities before we begin operations in Mournhold. We need a faster way to disperse the plague, but that's not my task at this moment. Besides, I'm sure the at alchemist Madrindril Merdendril is tackling this problem even as I write these notes. I should also record that I have I've perfected the husk scent. We can once again walk among the husks without fear of being attacked. I might even have an idea about about a soap to to remove the scent after we're finished. Oh. We'll begin making a larger, larger, we'll begin making larger batches of the curative immediately. In no time at all, we should be able to give everyone at the Cirque an an end in the intimidating vicinity a dosage of the curative. Don't worry, my mistress, everything will happen just as you have foreseen. The low dose plague. I have no idea why. But it's clear to me that the Mulborn curative is actually the source of the disease. Whatever they're planning, you have to stop them. You need a healer. That's not important. Get my sister out of here and stop the Mulborn. Destroy the so-called curative and put an end to that mad woman, Nostrum Breva. I don't think a, Ro a Rona will leave your side. Then convince her. I'm too far gone. I don't want to become one of those things and hurt my sister. Besides, she's a Redoran. She has a duty to the Cirque and its people. No, there's still time to help, to try and help you. You are as hard-headed and stubborn as my sister. Vivek, damn you. Fine. Do what you must. But if the unthinkable occurs, I expect you to stop me before I hurt anyone. Dathesum, you swit. We're not leaving without you. I hope you know what you're doing. I could become a plague husk at any moment. My decision is final. Besides, you're sick, and your judgment can't be trusted. I'll get us out of here while our friend deals with the Mulborn. All right, so let's get out of here. All right, we're done here. Pack everything up. We need to regroup with the other Mulborn cadres and deliver this plague to the rest of Deshaun. Cheating. 
Nostrum Breva, we continue to experiment with the new strains of the plague, and your work at Circamora has proven invaluable. The Magistrix is quite pleased. The Cirque has been a good testing ground. Weak and sickly. Individuals who arrive, some already infected with, with previous strains, beg for a cure. We are more than delighted to welcome them in, giving them false promises and cleansing their illness. Even... House of Redoran and Halalu are convinced we are here to help. They so want to believe. As for the plague itself, it has become quite potent. Unfortunately, survival rates remain shorter than we had hoped. If we want to, ca to, to, to cause a true outbreak, one that could level an entire city, we must continue to strengthen the magic and test it. The, the next step will be to raise the level of ex experimentation. Word has already come that one of our cadres may have developed the purest form of the sickness yet. I'm eager for the arrival of these shipments. A larger town will suffice for the next experiment. I recommend Narciss. The Lalu fools will never expect a thing. I need to get in touch with one with my contacts there. To let them know to be ready. Alchemist mature. Okay. I mean, it is what it is. Were you able to acquire any samples of the Molborn curative? I'm really curious to see what the elixir is made of. Here you go, but I'm pretty sure the elixir won't cure anything. I've been watching the townsfolk who received the curative and came to the same conclusion. But I'll be able to tell for sure after I analyze the elixir. Take this. It isn't much, but I'm sure you didn't have too much trouble in there. Thanks for your help. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some alchemical wizardry to perform. Rude. He is so rude. My goodness. Glad to see you managed to make it out of the quarantine too. Does that mean those Melbourne fetchers have been dealt with? Yes, the Melbourne are finished at least here at the Cirque. How's your brother? Not well. Alchemist Nalene fancies herself something of a healer. And she's been working with the Thesum and the other afflicted. Hopefully she'll devise a treatment for them soon. And is the alchemist making any progress? Some. She seems confident, at least. But what do I know of drafts and elixirs? But tell me, do you think the Molborn pose a threat to the rest of Deshaun? I'm not sure. It certainly sounds like their plans include more than just the Cirque. That's what I'm thinking as well. But maybe... What is this? I, 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 I'm, I'm so curious. So, that's what I'm... The Molborn have been dealt with, but I could use a little more of your help, if you don't mind. Of course, what do you need? It's my brother. He's still ill, and his condition has taken a turn for the worse. Nalene is working to develop some kind of treatment, Ooh, I love but it. she could use your assistance. She can't work at her alchemy table and also gather the components she needs. What should I do? Talk to Nalene. Let her know I ask you to assist her. She can be a little aloof, but she'll tell you what she needs you to do. I'll talk to Nalene right now. Ooh. Yes? It's nice to see you again, of course, but I am kind of in the middle of something here. Did she? Well, I suppose I do. 
There are a few additives I require, but I can't very well walk away from my table while the Thesum and the rest of the townsfolk need my skills. Even this interruption can prove disastrous where alchemy is concerned. What additives do you need me to get? I need Kind's Heart Healing Herbs, Sour Milk Tea, and Dragon Scale Mushrooms. The innkeeper usually has healing herbs. Grell Flan loves sour milk tea, and Sorel Tadus had a taste for exotic mushrooms. You should find what I need in those locations. Okay. It's times like these when I wish I had more help around here. Um, is there something I can get you? Any chance you have Kynes Heart Healing Herbs? Well, I might have some around here someplace, but Kynes Heart is very rare and valuable. I can make a fair bit of gold if I hold out for the right price. Nilly needs it for to help to help it to help to see Lilla to help the Thesum. What? Why didn't you say so? I owe Dethisa more than I could ever repay. Uh, plus, he's always been a good customer. Please, uh, take this. It's all I have left. That and now to go in here, last one left. I need four inventory slots. Why? Where did you go to get those ingredients, Windhelm? No matter, you're here now. Were you able to acquire everything on my list? I think so. Here's what you asked for. Healing herbs, dragon scale mushrooms, sour milk tea. Yes, it's all here. I need to stay here and monitor my patient's condition. Go over to the alchemy table and mix those ingredients together, please. Okay. The Lotus Plague is a damn complex concussion. I'm not sure I have the skills and experience to total counteract its properties, but I have an idea for a, for how to suppress and slow the pace of the disease. It will require a number of rare and exotic and exotic ingredients to pull this off. The to pull this off, though. An, alchemic, an alchemical concoction such as I'm imagining doesn't like to be subjected to high heat. It is too volatile. It needs to be allowed to steep and brew. Therefore, an adjustment of one quarter flame should suffice to get the al al alembic to the proper temperature. First, I need a good amount of Kind's Heart, the healing this, these healing herb, herbs are prized for their powerful medical, medicinal properties and which make them, makes them harder to come by and extremely expensive. I'm certain the innkeeper at the brooding elf keeps an emergency supply to sell for a profit when business gets slow. Then I need something to to bind it all together and hide the foul taste of the of the bitter herbs, something like sour milk sour milk tea. Grill Flan was known to Im imbibe imbib the stuff from time to time. I must admit that I have a fondness for the beverage myself, usually with a splash of grief to give it back to, to give it a bit of kick. If you must know. Finally, I'll need something that adds a touch of magic. Dragon scale mushrooms would fit the bill nicely. If I recall correctly, old Sorel T 
He does. Tedus had a taste for exotic mushrooms. There might still be some hidden in his house unless those Argonian ruffians ransacked his place after he entered the quarantine. Okay. So we need Kind's Heart, Sour Milk Tea, and then Dragon's Ton. I should take this. Yes, thank you. You did it? Well done. I never doubted you for an instant. Now, let me have the mixture, if you please. Here's the potion you asked me to make. This appears to be perfect. I truly am impressed. Now we'll see what happens and leave the rest in the tribunal's hands. Our friend has done well. I'm not sure this will cure the plague, but it should at least slow down its progress. All right, that's it. Visiting time is over. Everyone out and let my patient rest. You heard the lady. Let's go wait outside. Okay. Nilene knows what she's doing. Dethesum will be fine. You'll see. I don't know how to thank you. Without your help, the Molborn would have destroyed the Cirque. I don't know how to thank I don't know how to thank you. Without your help, the Molborn would have destroyed the Cirque. We did everything we could, and Nilene seems to know what she's doing. I know. His fate is in the three's hands now. Hold on. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, I, I don't need all this junk. Okay. I don't know how. I know. I'm happy to say that the suppressant works. It's not a cure, but it should buy me the time I need to find a way to beat the plague. That's wonderful news. If I wasn't worried about spreading the plague, I'd kiss you right on the lips. I knew Nilene could do it. I trained her well, and she was an apt pupil. Of course, we only have enough of the suppressant to aid the Cirque. We have to hope that the Lotus Plague hasn't spread too far into the Deshaun countryside yet. Uh, about what I said, uh, about kissing you on the lips. You know, that was just the heat of the moment, right? Anyway, thanks again for your help. I must admit, your help was invaluable. It may not be a cure, but I can certainly use the suppressant to slow the progress of the plague to a crawl. Hopefully, that will give me or the healers in Mournhold time to develop a proper curative. Narcissus must hear of this. So the Maulborn lied to everyone. I figured as much. This doesn't bode well for Narcissus, though. Something wrong. Narcissus sent me to investigate Quarantine Cirque. Now that I know a mad cult is poisoning our people, I'm even more concerned. The Maulborn are a menace. So there are more of these Maulborn. They're appearing all across Dashan. Even Narcissus is in danger. I need to stay here and finish my investigation. If you're heading south, would you carry a message to guard Verilu at Narcissus? She needs to know what happened here. I can do that. That will start our next quest, which I will do on my Templar. Um, yeah, I will do that on my Templar. I'm not going to do it on this character because I am not really comfortable playing on Arcanists. Um, but uh, yeah, so anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. Um, this episode will be up like pretty much immediately. So I will edit it and all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed. Make Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.